the end of influencers on Instagram. Creators are tired of being at the mercy of platforms. What would it take to own their relationship with their audience? A big question mark. Kathleen Cohen never wanted to be an Instagram influencer. That's just an Instagram influencer. She always identified as a blogger and she held on to that even as a blog leadership slowly declined and Instagram began to crowd out any other type of content creation. Kathleen has been blogging up about her personal style and life since 2012 and is one of the pioneers of the industry fashion lifestyle blogger who rose to fame based on her aspirational aesthetic and girl next door wholesomeness. It's hard to convey her magnetism without sounding like a creepy magazine writer describing a young engineering primarily by her looks. But Kathleen Disney Princess Beauty, her long bouncy dark hair and her big eyes are the first thing you notice when you look at her feet. When think of an influencer, you probably think of someone like Kathleen. In the mid-2012, then, Instagram exploded as a content machine and an old school blogger like Kathleen were lured over to post platform as a way to grow their brand and audience. By 2021, though Instagram content has spread, swallowed much of the blogger industry that came before it, influencers have told me that many brands will pay only for Instagram content and look at only Instagram numbers when determining an influencer rate. Or will they pay premiums for Instagram slowly blogs and other types of content begin to fall by the wayside? Until many influencers found themselves spending the majority of their work day on Instagram. Without realizing it, they had given up something crucial. Instead of owning their business on their own platform, they are not just subject to whims of a corporation they could not control, or one that did not seem to care much about them. Instagram is definitely frustrating. I feel like they keep changing things. They are pushing reels so heavily and people don't want to see reels, Catherine said. They want pictures, engagement and views are so are low across the board. I feel all of my friends I have talked to that are bloggers say that Instagram is not showing their content to anyone. So it is tough and I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. The tides turned around 2016 when she suspected Instagram changed the feed show from showing photos chronologically due to algorithm to determine which posts show up in the forward feeds. Catherine Gaiman began to plummet. Over the time, she began to realize that she was not the problem. The issue that she said was the Instagram implementing changing that she felt were benefiting the company only, not influencer by who she was sharing content. Catherine has tried not to focus on Instagram as her only means of content creation. She has never slowed down on her blog, which was she always found more interesting than posting on Instagram. Catherine has also experimented with TikTok and Reels, which she enjoys, but she knows her audience does not really like them. She does just playing into what Instagram wants. Instagram has tried to downplay how much the algorithm controls the influencer success. In June 2012, 21, blog post Instagram CEO Adam Suri wrote that the existence of an, an Algorithm is one of the biggest misconceptions about the platform. He claimed that the each individual is able to tailor their own experience and pick up which creators they want to see. How you use Instagram heavily influences the things you see and you don't see, he wrote. You will help improve the experience simply by interacting with profiles and posts you enjoy. I hope you like this video.